Heading back to uh, try to make a little loop on my enduro track. Sort of like uh, little variations. I can do it backwards and I'll just try to do some kind of maybe figure eight back there. I don't have a lot of room, so I gotta be creative. Now where I usually go in, it's pretty greasy. She's dried up a little bit, thankfully. Haven't ridden it in a couple of weeks. And uh, that's a deep rut there. <laughs> and uh, a lot of the leaves I've uh, covered the tread was well worn before that. A couple of passes through here and they all fixed up. All my tape is still there. Nobody came in the trail. It's kind of secluded in the back. You can't drive a four-wheeler back here. I made it so that you can, so. <laughs> the tape is just a reminder. Sometimes off corners and stuff. This is where I have this loop. It kind of goes around and comes back on the main trail. I'm trying to uh, find a place to go here. Oh, something went through my tape. It's probably a deer. Yeah, it wasn't anybody I was walking. Yeah. Looks like a deer came through here and knocked down one of my tape. Here we go. Tape fixed all back up. It's kind of a sticky tape. So, uh, yeah, I think this is where a deer cross. There's a highway is not far and they've been seen over there quite often. I think they cross here and I see a lot of deer tracks anyway. I never seen one when I was driving. They're well hidden. Well I finally got the trail mapped out. I don't really have to cut any trees at all. Just clear out a lot of dead trees. Sticks and whatnot. This is where the loop kind of comes in a little ways. And then I had the option to keep on going here to loop or turn left here. And uh, I have it going through this way here. And a couple of dead logs there. I go through here. Like I said, it's mostly just trimming the trees. There's a piece of dead wood there. It's rotten as hell. And when I get up here, I was surprised to find uh, I was going to go just over this log here and turn around. But as I walked around the back here, I've seen something pretty interesting. There's a log here. I can make some kind of little obstacle. Turn around this tree here and do a slight left turn here. If I keep going this way, keep turning. Another left turn here, heading back to where I was. I come to this spot here. I got it marked off. It's almost like they knew I was coming. There's three logs there. And there's a whole bunch of stuff here that I can arrange to make a really, uh, <laughs> something interesting. Not something to kill myself on, but uh, make it a little challenging. And they're laid right there, almost, almost good the way they are, really. And then you keep on. Little left turn here. Like I said, there's a lot of dead, dead trees. Not even cutting one, just trimming so you don't get them in the face. And then there's a right turn here. And then you're back on the trail heading out. Well, I better get going on cutting the trail. As I see I got a few, uh, a few branches to cut. And uh, yeah. I wouldn't mind making it a little loop there to go up on the bank. There's a very big steep bank over there next to the highway. Something to go up and come back down. But it's to cut those trees, like, it'll be a, a task. Anyway, that's the end of my update on the video. I'm gonna try to cut a little bit before I go. Sun goes down fast. Anyway, if you like the video, like, subscribe, share. You know the routine.